Hi, Year 5. How are you doing? The Year 5 staff just wanted to send you a message to say that we're thinking about you and that we're missing you and we hope you're all well. Um, you've been at home now learning away from school for just over a week now and I hope it's going as well as it can be and I hope you're all using your gem powers the best you can. I know I'm definitely using my gem powers having to work from home. I'm having to use my sapphire power to focus on my work especially when I can see the biscuit tin in the corner. So I'm working really hard to not eat too many biscuits when I'm at home. Um, but I just thought I'd send you all a message to let you know what I've been doing since I last saw you. Uh, I've been working at home for about a week and a half now. I've been doing lots of things like sending you your home learning each day. And I hope that's going really well and you're doing the best you can. Um, I've been reading the Indian in the cupboards um, and sharing some of that with you on YouTube. Um, so I hope you're enjoying that. Uh, I've been thinking about some fun projects that you could be doing over the half term if you wanted to do some of those. And when I'm not doing my schoolwork, I have been enjoying video calling my friends and family more often than I normally would. We're finding some really creative ways of doing that and I've done some new apps and so have my parents and my family members so that's been really lovely to speak to them as much as possible. I've been really enjoying walking every day sometimes when I go to work and I'm there all day and then I sometimes I go straight home so it's actually really nice to be able to have lots and lots of long walks every day and get some exercise in. I've been doing the Joe Wicks workouts, <gasps> they're really hard uh, but they're really fun and I've got some boxing gloves and I've got some weights at home so I'm trying to do some exercise uh, to counteract all those biscuits I've been eating. Um, and I've also really enjoyed reading, um, not only The Indian in the Cupboard but also some other books that I've chosen as well. So I hope you're finding lots and lots of positive things that you are enjoying whilst you're not at school. Now I'm going to hand you over to another Year 5 teacher who's going to tell you about what they've been doing. And hopefully we'll all see each other soon. But keep working hard and we'll speak again soon. Bye guys. Hello Year 5, it's Mr Sutton here. Um, I'd like to share with you some of the things I've been doing since we've not been at school. It's been it's been really strange not seeing you all, not doing uh, not teaching the lovely lessons to you, see your faces. Um, but we've been keeping ourselves busy, the teachers outside of school, and I'd like to share some of the things that I've been doing. Okay, here they come. Firstly, today is my birthday. So I have uh, received some cards from my lovely friends and family. Unfortunately, I won't be able to see them in person because of um, everything that's going on at the moment. But I did have a lovely video chat with my uh, dad and stepmom and brother and everybody last night. So I got to see them and my friends and family, family have been sending me some lovely pictures and bits and pieces today. Also, I've been doing some baking. So I've made some butterfly cakes. There were 12, but now there's only two left. And I think because it's my birthday, I'm gonna eat them before I even have my lunch. Probably the favorite thing that I've been doing uh, since we've been off school has actually been playing my guitar. Um, and of course, because of the neighbors, I've been using my headphones so I don't disturb anybody. If you've got a musical instrument, why don't you have a go at playing at home? And finally, I've set myself a little project to clean up um, my collection of WWF wrestling figures. Now, I got these when I was probably about your age, maybe a little bit younger. Um, so they are from the early 90s. And you can see that Mr. Sutton, when he was a little, when he was a teenager, decided it was a really good idea to paint some blood on them, which adult Mr. Sutton is a little bit miffed about because they now don't look nice and shiny and new like they would do before. So I'm going to try to clean them up to make them look pretty. Um, and actually this one, some of these, if I hadn't, that's Andre the Giant right there. He now is worth oh, £300 if he's in the box, 
Without the box, it's about 30, 40 pounds, but because teenage Mr. Sutton painted blood all over him, he's probably, well, I would better sell him for much money, but to me, that doesn't matter because I love playing with them. You've got your Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, he was my favorite, not a nice person in real life, but he was my favorite wrestler. You've got Macho Man, the Rockers. Oh, oh and actually, Bruce is the Barber Beefcake, got two of him. He liked him for some reason. And of course you've got the natural disasters, earthquake and typhoon over the back there. So I'm hoping I'll be able to give you an update um, as we go through, showing you just um, how well I've managed to clean up these figures. And I've got my ring upstairs as well somewhere, so I'll get that out, get that little spruce up and make it look uh, shiny and new. So why don't you, if you've got some old toys, why don't you give them a spring clean and they'll be as good as new. And then maybe after this finish, you can sell them or you can give them on, give them to somebody in more need than you who can play with them. Those are the things that I've been getting up to since school has been closed. I forgot to mention also that I've even tidied my wardrobe. Um, I'm not gonna say that it was lots of fun, but I'm glad that I did it. So if there's something you've been putting off, maybe tidying your bedroom or tidying your wardrobe or cupboard, then um, yeah. Give it a go, you'll probably feel much better afterwards. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy some cakes and I'll see you later. Cheers. Hi, you five. It's Miss Ridges here. I hope you're okay uh, and getting on well with your home learning. I'm sure you are. And enjoying relaxing and staying safe with your families. I just wanted to, to talk about what I've been up to because um, I'm sure you're probably wondering what that is. Um, so what have I done? So I have been obviously setting your home learning. I've been uploading it to the website so you and your parents can access that. Um, I've been baking. I made a really, really good chocolate cake the other day. Um, my family really enjoyed it. And I've also been looking after my my two kittens that I've already told you about yeah they're doing very well let me show you them to you quickly as I'm sure you're like what kittens what kittens yeah this is one of them very friendly kitty oh there's the other one. Oh yeah and they, they, they purr like crazy so they're really loud how oh, else have I been doing uh, obviously I've been really enjoying um, reading The Indian in the Cupboard. Um, I haven't ever read it before and actually it's it's a really exciting book and I'm, hope, I'm hoping that you're all enjoying it too because yeah like I said I haven't, I haven't read it before but actually I'm getting really into it so that's great. Um, I need to read more I know that so I'm gonna make it my target to read something else this this half term that we're off or yeah the time that we've got off basically um yeah so i hope you're all so well um i know we didn't get to to meet for very long which is sad because i would have loved to get to know you all just a little bit better before all this happened um but oh well stuff happens um and I'm sure I will see you all soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, so, yeah. Stay safe. And I'm sending you all my love. Um, and uh, I would like to hear from you using your gem palettes this week. That would be amazing. Um, your parents should know the, inf the info email for Year 5. And I look forward to seeing them. Okay. Bye, Year 5. Hi Bedbrook, hi Year 5, I've been thinking about you loads, I hope you're okay. Um, I promised I'd bring someone in to meet you, but at the moment we can't do that, so hold on a moment. Oh no! This is Jacob, and he is very much looking forward to meeting you at some point. Though he's very sad that we can't come into school to say hello. Okay, this is part two of our video. Um, this is Jacob when he's not crying. So as I was saying, he's really looking forward to meeting all of you. And 
yeah, we'll be coming in when school's open again, and so then he can say hello. But for now, here he is. Um, so, missing you all, hope you're okay. Um, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye!